All right, everybody. I done told you, don't panic on Lonzo Ball. And what did he do yesterday? He almost got a triple double. Let's go. Trust me, I was so hyped yesterday. I was out there just, just screaming. You know, I had a baby next to me, like you know, uh, next to my room. I was over here screaming. I almost woke the baby up. I apologize. I apologize, Brad. But man, I'm so glad to see the Lakers win. But I also. I also know that we were playing the Suns, which is actually a good team to play against, um, for us at least, because like they have one of the youngest teams, we have one of the youngest teams, so you know, like we weren't playing veterans this time, so we didn't look as shook, because they're playing against people the same age. But let's, let's just look at these highlights. Let's enjoy Lonzo, do his thing, get the people going. Like, who's this? As Booker? Hey, Booker? That's the negative. It's a young Kobe right there. Man, Randall? I don't know what's going on with Randall, man. He's barely getting PT. I thought he was going to be our best player this year, to tell you the truth. So, you know, obviously I'm not an analyst, so. Brookie Brook hitting those open threes? You know how much of a change that's going to be for us? Everybody, I want you guys to remember because I just realized our second best player, or he's supposed to be our top three, uh, Caldwell Pope's not even playing yet. He's supposed to be our best defender. You know, like right now we're being using Corey Brewer and Deng, which last time when I was talking about it, I, I didn't even realize that Pope wasn't playing. Those passes right there, who was going to do those passes last year? Not Russell, but Russell is bothering right now. I, I do wish we had a Russell though. If it was Lonzo and Russell, I think they would have done it. They would have been good together. But he started doing work, so I'm glad we have Kuzma. These passes right here, even though they got blocked, but like, we got a foul out of it. We got some points off of it, pretty much. Those passes right there, that's all we need from him. I don't expect Lonzo to score 29 points every game at all. And if you do, then just lower your expectations a little bit. But do, do count on the rebounds and the assists. I actually predicted him to get like about eight to seven assists a game, eight to seven rebounds a game. So that's already, that's already pretty good for a rookie, especially a point guard. Oh, and these are just Laker highlights, by the way. I'm biased. You see? Those easy pick and rolls after a while, like the defenders won't know who to, who to guard because they're trying to get the person that's cutting in, but then Lonzo will keep it. Or if they start guarding Lonzo off of the pick and roll, then he'll dish it out. Or he'll find somebody in the three point line. Lonzo, he knows where the ball is going. He just knows. See? Oh, this right here. He took 27 shots yesterday. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he did. That's a lot of shots, but we needed him to score. See, once it started getting towards the third quarter, we were still doing well, though. But it was, it was pretty close. It was a close game. No defense anywhere to be found. Clarkson had a good game again. Doing what he does. I expect him to be like a Nick Young, Jamal Crawford type player. Just scoring for us off the bench. They made a little comeback. Oh. Jackson on the drive. Defender behind him and I thought took his eye off the rim. That was a great move by Clarkson. Very patient. Brookie. Brook came in. Clutch. Brook. Brookie Brook. If he does that consistently for us, it's, it's going to give us a lot of victories. Or more than last year, at least. Rising to their feet. Oh, Lonzo. Can be aggressive. They only have Look how he runs the pick and roll. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. With a left hand. How about that? Right over the top. Brooke, again. 
So right now it's looking like Brook Lopez, Lonzo, and Ingram are going to be our main scorers. I don't see anybody else really going off. Like, this one right here. Like, they don't even know who to go anymore. He does the pick and roll. The person might stay. And hit the three. Or they'll cut in. But they get lost. The, the defenders get lost. Right there, I was nervous when Booker hit that three. I was like, oh, please don't be one of those games. But then Nance with the defense. What I'm talking about. First one on the way now. Nervousness made them back up. Yeah, man. So, just temper your expectations. Don't expect Lonzo to make 29 points every game. I do. I do see him getting like around 15, 16 points a game. Maybe 12. Let's say 12, just to be more realistic. But um, he's gonna average those type of numbers. The rebounds and the assists are gonna stay the same. So just keep on believing. You know me, I'm always optimistic. We're one and one. We got the same record as the champions, the Warriors. <laughs> but until next time, don't forget to check out the description. Got some links in there. Until next time, see y'all later.